What's up people, Manrat here, coming to you with a video. This time we are going to be looking at a multitasker, which is this cooking grate. This is extremely helpful, extremely useful, especially when you're making chapatis. Normally when you're making chapatis, you have to sake or you have to cook uh, the roti or the chapati on the tawa. But because, you know, you are making food for many people or... If you're making food for yourself, you at least want to make two or three chapatis. And this takes a lot of time because the heat doesn't come in too quick. It's a gas range. So this is when this gadget comes in handy. As soon as the chapati is a little bit, you know, done, as you can see, uh, it's not fully cooked yet. All you do is when it gets to this stage, just toss it on this. Because it's going to be having direct heat, it's going to start cooking a lot faster. At this point, the tongs are going to come in handy. Just flip them, just press them. As you can see, this is going to get direct heat sent to it. Uh, if you're using gas range, this might not be good for you. But if you're using, uh, you know, electric range, or if you're using uh, glass top range, this works wonders. Uh, the total amount of time it takes to make rotis uh, does drop significantly. And the best part is these things do puff up pretty quick because the heat they are getting is extremely high. And look at that. The only thing you have to be careful of is the heat is going to be extremely high. So make sure this doesn't burn. And because the steel grate is there, it actually does not heat itself because the heat just passes right through it. I just put it on the gas, the gas is still heating up. It has not got to the full temperature yet, but as you can tell, this chapati is ready. In addition to this, if you want to reheat a chapati uh, that was sitting, uh, you can toss it in the microwave, it's gonna become like rubber. You can toss it on the tawa, but it might stick. Just toss it on this, it does heat up, and it becomes pliable. Before it was like paper, uh, now it's, as you can see, you're bending it, it's not breaking. And just like that, this is ready. The other useful thing this is good for is popper. Personally, I love legit popper. They are the best. All you do is get this thing hot, put the popper on top. And look at that. Instantly, instantly. This thing instantly is cooking it. You do not get this result on a tawa. You do not get this uh, result in a microwave. It does smoke a little, so it actually gets an extra smoky flavor and texture. And boom, this is ready. By the way, this is just not suitable for Indian food. Uh, this, by the way, I will. If you want to buy Indian popper, make sure to get legit popper. They are the best, authentic, extremely delicious popper. This is not a sponsored video. I bought this from my own money. I bought this from my own money too. I'm a small YouTuber. I don't get paid for ad influencing or anything like that. And if you're making Mexican food or if you're making tortillas, uh, this super soft, large uh, tortillas, they also can be heated on this. You can toss it in the microwave if you like uh, or a flat iron skillet. Problem you're gonna run across is it's gonna become soggy. This is when this gadget comes in handy. And it has a, a big enough surface that it does cover it. So make sure the heat is on. And you will see it will start becoming soft. It has already become pretty soft. It is warm. I cook a lot. So I'm perfectly fine with the, using it with your hands. With my hands. Otherwise you can use a tongue. Look at that. Within two seconds this thing puffs up. Within two seconds, this thing really puffs up. Uh, I don't think you've ever seen a flour tortilla do that on a regular microwave or a skillet. So this definitely is a gadget that I will highly recommend to get. Uh, it's only a few bucks. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's like five bucks on Amazon. I will link the search description below. Again, that is not my Amazon referral link. I'm too small of a YouTuber to get even an Amazon referral. But from me, thumbs up, definitely. And just for reference scale, uh, the product dimensions are, this thing is about almost nine and a half inch wide. 
the handle itself is about four and a half or four and a quarter inch the handle is about four and a quarter inch and the offset that it has is about one inch so if you have a uh, electric uh, range that has the coils this is going to be too close for you unless you are able to rest these four legs on top of him if you have a glass top like i do this will sit right up it's completely perfect by the way in addition to it being used as a rack that can be used for heating uh, food it's also a perfect rack for cooling uh, if you have a popper because popper you don't eat hot by the way just a quick tip you have to allow it to cool down that's why it's always served cold so you can use that as a rack to cool stuff down you have a small batch of cookies just place them on top you can use them and what i just did here i touched it it's cold because i know it's cold because it was outside for a little while but before you just jump in and see oh it's warm or not don't do that get your hand let it cool down and then it'll work let me know in the comment section below what do you think of this gadget also if you have any request concerns or if you want me to make any videos that are going to be suited to your needs till the time they are vegetarian or vegan from any origin i'll be happy to take care of your request as always like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys and girls on the next one. Later, people.